Hello guys, I want to quickly show you how our quick admin panel generator works with fields and their field types. So here we are at quickadminpanel.com and I will now create a CRUD controller with various fields. Let's create a CRUD controller for example to manage books as, a, as an example. Uh, there are various settings here but that's not part of that demo and we add fields with various types. Here we go. Let's start with the field type called text. Every field has a key which goes to the database and a label which goes to the visual form. And then you can choose whether it's required or optional and whether it's present in the list in create or edit form. And then you save changes. And this way field by field you fill in all the, all the fields. Uh, for example, author email, uh, field type called email which shouldn't be in the list because uh, otherwise the table would get huge in our case. Uh, save changes and now let's go field by field, sorry. Field by field, uh, the next field type is long text. So let's go description of the book. Uh, you can choose here whether to use Siki Editor or not. Uh, that's the beauty of our generator uh, for various field types. You can choose various settings. So save changes, let's move on. Let's Next field type will be radio, so for example, genre, and then you choose key value. So for label, it will be for example, action, and in the database, we need value action. Then horror, for example, and number three, for example, comics. Comics, uh, save changes. Okay, let's move on for our fields. Number five will be checkbox, for example, whether it's available already or not, the book. Available. And defaults checked or unchecked, let's leave it as checked, but not in the list. Let's move on. Then date picker, for example, release date of the book. Release date. Then date and time picker. So for example, last modified time, last modified time, we don't need that in the list. Okay, we're halfway through. Belongs to a relationship. Now that's an interesting one. You can choose another CRUD to build a relationship to. So in this case, we build a belongs to a relationship to the user's CRUD. Uh, and let's call it author. As the comment says here, you don't need to include underscore ID, it will generate automatically. Uh, okay, let's move on. I don't want to spend too much on your, of your time here. File, so for example, book PDF. You can att attach book PDF here with maximum size of 10 megs, let's say. Uh, then we can add a photo. That's a kind of a subtype of a file uh, with additional settings. So for example, 10 megs with 4,000 pixels to 4,000 pixels. Mm, okay, that's not all. For password, we just create dummy field password. Don't really know how you could use password for the book, but you never know. Uh, okay, then for to go money price, field type, number, for example, available amount, uh, available amount, so how many books are left in store, uh, float, uh, let's make it a discount field, discount, save changes, and the final one will be, you know, so for example, orange country of the book, and we have different values here, US, UK, Germany, blah, blah. Save changes, and after putting in all the fields, you save that CRUD, and it generates a new menu item called books with empty table for now, with those fields that we've selected as in list. And you can then fill in the form book after book. So with those fields, 
with required fields marked with the star with different settings that's the radio button that's checkbox with uh, default checked as we selected uh, date picker date time picker author list uh, files to upload origin country as drop down and so on so that's in short how our quick admin builder works with fields field types and that's how you quickly build your admin panel see you soon in our next demo videos